Good evening everyone, what's up? I just ate a satisfying dinner and watched some TV for more to discuss in the future. Previously, I made three rants on Cartoon Network. Well, today I rant on Disney Channel. However, I did not watch Disney until late 2012. So I have very little to say and I barely know anything. I, I usually don't watch Disney Channel, so this may be a lame rant. I have seen bits and pieces of Disney Channel throughout a few months or more. Let's take a look at some of the current shows. I know all the current shows, but not well enough. The first show was Good Luck Charlie. I saw a small chunk of an episode, maybe a couple seconds more. There's an extended boring family, and that's it. There's not really anything else that occurs except for a few things. I'll give this show a 2 out of 10. What surprised me is that there were high ratings on TV.com. Another sitcom is Ant Farm, which is advanced natural talent. What on earth is this? A smart girl? Pretty much the same rating as Good Luck Charlie. Jesse, this sitcom... Has two girls, one of them's named Jesse, a man, a little boy, and a little girl, and another boy. That gets pretty much the same rating, just as abysmal, shake it up. A sitcom with lame dancing and random fashions. It is slightly worse than all of these sitcoms. Oh my goodness, there are so many un entertaining sitcoms. The worst part is the annoying frequent laugh track. There is a laugh track. Every 10 to 20 seconds, and it gets super annoying after just once. Every time a random phrase is said, the, that unnecessary laugh track is heard. It is way overused in every sitcom. Nothing was funny at all. Why is it there? What's the point? Wow, Disney is worse than many shows. It is likely that they are putting minimal effort into everything. Luckily, there are three cartoons. These included Phineas and Ferb, Fish Hooks, and Gravity Falls. The live action shows air more than the cartoons. Yes, there are more live action shows, but cartoons should air more often. Cartoons are usually better than live action shows. That's my opinion. If you like these live action shows, that's fine because you're entitled to your own opinion. Just don't act like a fantard. I can't review fish hooks because I have not seen, had a chance to see an episode. The main cartoon is Phineas and Ferb, which has been that for many months. I'm checking the schedule as I speak. I sat through a sitcom and didn't laugh once. Nothing was funny. That applied to any episode of Wizards of Waverly Place, a ripoff of Harry Potter. And I'm not even kidding. In my honest opinion, Sitcoms mostly stink. The writing is poor, the acting is probably poor, and it seems like there's minimal effort put in. The creators probably don't even care. I did not laugh once, and I want to destroy that obnoxious laugh track. Some of us will get bored of sitcoms because they air all the time. The cartoon, which which barely air, are only on like two or three times a day, maybe if you're lucky, four or five. That's what I saw on the schedule. I checked for the entire week. I would have been biased if I did not. The cartoons air once or twice in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening. Overall, most sitcoms, each of them, air twice or more a day, even as many as five times a day from dawn to dusk. Another terrible show is Dog with a Blog. This show is about an intelligent talking dog and his family, which includes a little girl, a man, and then a woman. And that's it. The dog is a blog. Teen sitcoms, is that all you have to offer? This is pathetic. Another show is Austin Alley, which is basically just about her brother and sister at Sing. That is pathetic. Everything's pathetic. The only positive thing in a schedule is that the channel airs endlessly 
Uh, occasionally a cartoon airs after 9 p.m. Nickelodeon doesn't do that, so that's a bonus. I saw Phineas and Ferb a few times only. I will discuss this show later. Luckily, there's one other cartoon. This cartoon is the popular Gravity Falls. I saw in August and October and recently, which is April. This show is actually amazing. As of now, it is the only good thing on Disney or has been for a long time. It's about a boy and a girl, Dipper and Mabel, who spend the summer at their great uncle. His name is Stanford Pines. A greedy man that owns the mystery shack. And he lives in Gravity Falls. They are not annoying or unfunny. And this show is very interesting. The other characters include Stu, some bit fat guy, a pig, and Wendy, a girl that Dipper likes. Recently, Disney started Saturday morning cartoons. Finally, an improvement. Oh, I can't watch during that time because I'm busy. Air the show more on the evenings. Finally, Gravity Falls airs more as of now. During pretty much all of the winter, probably until April, it barely aired weeks ago. I almost ranted on that, but it aired just in time. In conclusion, you have a higher chance of seeing a live action show than a cartoon. There's a cartoon that has a problem. This cartoon is Phineas and Ferb. It is the most repetitive cartoon ever. Every episode is the same thing. Well, the plot is that Phineas and Ferb, two brothers, have 140s of summer. They're bored. They want to invent something. And then Perry the Platypus disappears and ends up at an evil scientist. Some silly scientist named... Heinz Doofensmirch, he traps Perry and shows him his invention. The invention name always ends with Inator. Phineas and Ferb invent something extraordinary and spectacular. Their sister, Candace, who babysits them, wants to tell on the mother because it could be dangerous. The invention gets destroyed by the evil scientist's invention or disappears. Perry defeats the evil scientist at the end and Candace can't prove anything to her parents. That's pretty much every episode. There was an episode on New Year's and that was a long time after summer. There were 104 days of summer and there have been well over 104 episodes. When do Phineas and Ferb go to school? Why don't they go to school already? If there are 104 days of the summer, don't increase it. Go to school already. It's like Arthur, who's still in third grade, who's been third grade for over a decade. Back to the main topic. Are we supposed to enjoy the mediocrity of these sit-